Everyone, meteorologist Kelly Dobek here. I want to talk a little bit more about what's happening in California with this atmospheric river, but I really want to conceptualize it, make a 3D image just to show you how much an atmospheric river is a lot like just a normal river that flows along the surface. So here's our model right here predicting what is happening uh, along the California coast here. So you see this line of green. That's our atmospheric river. OK, sometimes it can be 200 to 400 miles wide, and essentially it is just just a wide band of water vapor that is being pushed in uh, to the western coast thanks to tropical moisture. That moisture gets pushed up mountains, get pushed up hills, and eventually condenses, becomes cooler, and that's how you get rain, and that's how you get snow. Let's turn it a little bit here just to show you what is happening. And eventually, you just get more and more of that moisture being pummeled into one specific area, and that's exactly what we're seeing in Los Angeles and Los Angeles County right now and other portions along along the California coast that you get things like mudslides, uh, very heavy rains, flooding concerns. All of those things are what is happening right now, actually making to be a historic storm unfolding in portions of California. For more on that, I want to turn to First Alert meteorologist Erica Page because you're really breaking down just what's happening in California right now. Yeah, I mean, we've already heard of at least 475 mudslides just within Los Angeles. You can imagine that if we continue to build in in more of that moisture, you may see more over the coming days because the ground is just so saturated. One thing to remember too, especially when we're talking about California, they are so prone to wildfires and drought, especially during the summer season. Well, those impacts don't just end when the summer ends. The effects of them are felt long throughout the rest of the year. And if you get some of these wildfires, which California has historically had some large wildfires, especially through that main season that we tend to see that, all it takes is a half of an inch of rain in less than an hour to quickly cause flash flooding concerns over a burn area. Los Angeles County had a pretty large wildfire in the mountains so about October of 2022. So could that be having an impact? It's certainly possible depending on where some of these mudslides are occurring. I mean, it has been just an incredible amount of rain that has fallen over the last several days across portions of Southern California. I mean, look at that. You get the purple and the pink mixing in there. That is easily over 12 inches of rain in spots and unfortunately the ground it just cannot absorb that much moisture within a short amount of time. So why is California so much at risk? Well, you think about it. They're prone to earthquakes. That's going to break the ground apart a bit more and it's going to weaken that soil. Then you add the wildfire on top of it, potentially in some spots that creates an almost water repellent type of a soil, meaning the water just cannot absorb underneath all the nutrients that the wildfires to a certain extent can create but it also then causes the debris flows, the flash flooding, and the potential that you can see some mudslides when you do get these atmospheric river events to occur on the western coast, and it brings so much rainfall to parts of California.